What's up guys, my name's Amanda. My twin sister Emily is behind the camera. Welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. Today we're out fishing in Pulley Ridge. We are trolling between spots. Thought it was a good time to show you a how to rig your slow pitch jig and another learning in under five episode. Here is your jig that you're gonna wanna put together. I didn't put it together on this side so you guys could visualize it and on the back end it is put together. But here you're gonna have your ball bearing swivel. This is what's going to come off of the rod. It's gonna be a 50 pound floral leader is our leader of choice. From here, we're gonna go to a split ring. So if you can see, this is a little split ring that can open up. You're going to wanna to use split ring pliers to open this up. And once you have it open, you're gonna attach your assist hooks right here. Now your assist hooks are going to be attached to a solid ring. This is something you can either make or buy. And also to attach to your split ring is going to be your jig right here. So we're gonna attach all this together. All three of these pieces attached to our split ring. And then if we go to the back end, we have our jig, our split ring, and once again, our assist hooks attached to the solid ring. The first thing I'm gonna do is open up my split ring and slide on my swivel. Once my swivel's on there, I'm gonna work it down the ring, get my ball bearing swivel on there, the next step, once again, open up the ring. I'm gonna attach my jig. Work it onto the jig. Now that that is attached, our last step, we want to attach our hooks. Just work it on there. So all three pieces are being attached to the split ring. The split ring is what everything touches just like this. Once again, your leader is gonna be coming off of this side right here, attaching to the ball bearing swivel. We go from our ball bearing swivel to our split ring. Our split ring is going to attach our assist hooks right here, which are attached to a solid ring. And from there, we're gonna to go to our jig. It's the same thing on the back end, but there is no ball bearing swivel. Thanks for watching another episode of Learning in Under Five. We hope this was helpful for you on how to rig a slow pitch jig. If there's anything else you wanna see in less than five minutes or something you wanna see in more than 10 minutes, let us know, drop it in the comments. Make sure you follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.